Give me big smiles with your waves. There we go. That's even better. Alrighty, my loves, before we start our meeting today, we're going to go over a few expectations so that we can make sure our meeting runs smoothly. For today's lesson, we are going to want to make sure that we use our sharing voices. This is our second step meeting where we share our ideas with the class. So we want to make sure that everyone in here is able to hear us. So make sure that you're using your presenting voice when you want to share something. And also, if you need any help, please make sure that your hand goes in the air. And when a teacher is available, we'll make sure that we get your question answered or your comment shared. Today's activity is our weekly second step lesson. We want to make sure that we are staying seated at our computers for the full length of our meeting so that we can make sure we are hearing what our classmates have to say and we make sure that we hear the full lesson. If you guys would like to participate today, please make sure that you are sharing your ideas with the class but that you're also being an active listener, which means that when someone else here is sharing in the class, you are using your body to show that you're listening. And guys, let's have an awesome second step meeting today. If you wanna have an awesome meeting, wiggle your fingers at me. Ooh, you're sending me some good juices. Alrighty, hands in your lap. Beautiful, guys. So today's theme for our meeting is body language. And body language, guys, is a way that we can actually communicate using just our bodies. It's a way that we can talk to people without actually having to use our words. So you're saying things with different ways that your body looks, okay? So we can express our emotions through our body language, okay? Isn't it kind of cool, guys, that we can talk to people without actually having to use our words? What do you think about that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Is that cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool. We can use just our bodies to be able to do that. All right, my loves. So we are going to start out today with a little video, okay? And in this video, it's going to be turned into a game, okay? You may have seen this movie before called Inside Out. Inside Out is all about our emotions. So we're going to watch these little video clips, guys. And what I want you to do is when you see the girl, I want you to be able to choose what her emotion is, okay? So I want you to look at the way that her body reacts. I want you to look at the different things her body does. And I want you to guess which emotion you think it is that you're seeing, okay? All right, guys. Here we go. Right, try the next one.
Alrighty, guys, let's get to the good stuff now. Let's talk and share our ideas. We're going to take a look at our think side over here, and let's talk about what we saw. Miss Sophia, will you read us the question next to the red star? Absolutely. All right, it says, how does a person's face change based on their emotion? Now, I would be thinking about all of those emotions we saw, all of those different characters, how did their faces change based on the way that they were feeling on the inside? Miss Sophia, do you see someone that might want to talk a little bit about this? Um, Marco, can you share? So like the blue girl, when she was like controlling the girls, her face was sad because her uh, mouth, was super sad, not like me when I'm happy. <laughs> you are a very, very happy person. But yeah, Marco, can you show us what that face looked like when she was feeling that way? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> she was sad. You're right. Did you guys see how Marco had to actually pull his mouth down? Because Marco's always such a smiley person. He, it was almost hard for him to make a frown on his face. Okay, Marco, so I heard you say that sometimes someone's mouth will change the way that it looks based on that feeling. So if someone's sad, you might see them make a frown on their face. Guys, what other kinds of body parts do we have up here? What other things can change with the different ways that we're feeling? Let's see, Emma, Emma, share with us what you think. Your eyes. What happens to our eyes, Emma? Your eyes can turn kind of like sad. Like they can like fall down like you're looking at the ground. Ah, so if you're sad, you might be like looking down towards the ground. How about if you're happy? Emma, do you see anyone with their hand up? Can you call on someone to show us what it would look like if we were happy with our eyes? Sydney. So I'm always happy. And I sometimes I just do this because I'm like showing my teeth. It kind of looks like them like like that. 
so I just don't show my teeth when I'm smiling, but still I'm happy. Okay. Oh, okay, so Sydney's saying her eyes get really wide when she's happy. And she said, too, sometimes she can smile or make a, fr uh, a, a smiley face to show she's happy without showing her teeth. So sometimes she can smile with just her lips. And sometimes she can smile with all of her teeth showing. Good. Is there anything else on our face that might change if we're angry or confused or sad or scared or upset? How about Musa? Musa, what else might change on our face? Eyebrows, because when you're angry, they go down like this. And when you and when you're scared, they go up like this. Musa, it's almost like our eyebrows like jump around on our face. Guys, can you make ad mad eyebrows right now? Show us your mad eyebrows. Mm. Show us your surprised eyebrows. <gasps> oh my gosh, they jumped from being down here close to our eyes all the way up top. Show us your scared eyebrows. Oh, good, guys. Okay, so different parts of our face will change based on what kind of emotion we're feeling. Very good. All right, guys, now I want you to take a look next to our blue star here. It says, how does a person's body change based on their emotion? So is there any other part of us that we can look at to maybe tell how someone is feeling besides just our face. Olivia, where else can we look on our body? Your arms, because when you're mad, you could cross them. Or when you're scared, you could put them together and like hug yourself. Okay, so we can look at our arms and maybe the way that like our shoulders are sitting, right? If our shoulders are hanging low, it might be because we're upset about something or sad about something. I see Ethan, he's kind of like putting his hands on his hip, right? Kind of like standing there in a stubborn way. Good. What else? Not just our arms. What else can we look at? Milo? Um, maybe all like how, all like, like how our shoulders like act and like when we get mad we like do this <laughs> and our all and our like shoulders go down when we're happy because sometimes it goes up and uh and we just like feel happy about like um like um like my sister losing her first tooth totally you'd get really excited about that for her, right? So pretty much what I want you guys to see here is that your body displays the way that you're feeling almost without you even knowing it. And this is what we call our body language, guys. We can look at someone's body language and tell how they're feeling. One last question for you here, guys. Which of these emotions are you feeling the most right now? Miss Sophia, do you want to tell us which of those you're feeling to start us off? Guys, I don't know about you, but always on Fridays, I feel so happy that we're able to go into a weekend after working so hard during the week. So the main emotion I feel right now is just happy. All right, Miss Sophia is feeling very happy. Katie, how are you feeling this afternoon? Remember, Katie, you may have to unplug your headphones I'm so that happy. we can. Happy? Happy, Katie, you said? Yeah, oh, nice. Happy. Okay, who's feeling something different than happy? Can someone share with us something different they might be feeling? Let's see. Yutong, what are you feeling this afternoon? I'm feeling kind of sad because when we end homeroom, I feel sad. <laughs> but you know what's great, Yutong? You're going to see us again on Monday. Please 
true. <laughs> it is true. But you know what, Yutong? I'm glad that you love school so much and you love to be here with us. That maybe that's kind of like a good, a good sad feeling. All right, guys, let's do one more. Asya, how are you feeling this afternoon? Today, um, disgust. Oh no! Why are you feeling disgusted? What happened? Today, I'm feeling so weird with my body. Like um, my nose is hurting, okay. like everything is hurting, and like well, something's happening also. to my body. Oh, so maybe maybe you're starting to come down with a little cold. Asya. Maybe your body is physically starting to feel sick. I'm having a headache every day. Oh, well, Asya, I hope that you're able to get a little rest this weekend so that you can feel better. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you for sharing, Asya. All right, guys. Now, our body language can tell us a whole lot about our emotions. So it's really important to pay attention to a person's body language to be able to tell how they're feeling. And then this is going to help you be a better friend and respond to the way that they're feeling. Because if someone is feeling sad and you run up behind them and like you tell them how excited you are about a new toy that you got, I, that person might not respond so well because they're having a not so good day themselves. So it's really important for us as humans to kind of look at a person and like assess how they're feeling so that you can respond in, a, in an appropriate way so that you know how to react to what they're feeling. Now, just like we talked about, guys, some of the things that you can look at to examine someone's body language or to really know how they're feeling, just like we talked about from our video about Inside Out, you can look at their eyes to tell how they're feeling. You can look at the facial expressions that they make or the way that their muscles move in different parts of their face. We can look at someone's body posture. So like if they're slouched down or maybe if they're sitting up nice and tall. And then guys, we can also look at like the gestures they make. If they turn their back to us, what do you think that that means? If you go to walk up to someone and then they turn around away from you, what do you think that they're trying to tell you if they turn away? Sophia Z, what do you think that that means? That might mean that they're mad. Okay, it might mean that they're mad. And Sophia, do you think that that person wants to talk to you if like they turn their whole body away from you? No. Probably not, right? So we have to be really good. If we want to be a good friend to someone, we have to make sure that, that we look at their body language so that we can know how to respond. All right, guys. So today for our activity, we're going to examine or to take a look at our own body language. So what we're going to do is, Ms. Bertini had you come to class today with your piece of paper. We're going to take our piece of paper and we're going to fold it so that we have four different sections on there. Okay. So right now I want you to pick up your paper and we're going to fold our paper going long ways right down the middle. So it looks like a hot dog. Good job, Gretchen. I see you following those expectations. Good job, Rachel. And then once we have our hot dog fold, then we're gonna take our paper and fold it one more time in half. Very good, Sydney. And when you open your paper back up, you're gonna have those four sections on your paper. Now, here's where you guys can get creative, okay? Miss Bertini chose 
four emotions for us. We have happy, sad, worried, and angry. You can take your coloring materials that you came with, and at the top of each box, you're going to write down one of those emotions, okay? So in the top box, we're going to write happy. On the box to the side of that, we'll write sad. And then in the bottom two boxes, we're going to write worried and angry. And once you're all finished labeling your paper, I want you guys to draw a picture of what your body language looks like for each of those emotions, okay? So pay attention to what your eyes look like, what your body posture looks like, what your facial expressions look like, okay? You can even use some labels on your paper to be able to draw out what each of those things are. And then guys, once everyone's all finished, we can have an opportunity for some of us to share out our drawings. Does that sound good? All right, who's in for some music while we work? Do we want some music? All righty, guys. Miss Bertini will turn on some quiet music. We can hang out here and we're going to draw out our body language for our different emotions. Good work, guys. <laughs> 